I Fire Rush is a game I just picked up recently and can't put it down to be honest with you. This game really has me in between its fingers. It's doing what it wants with me. Uh, every time I get home from work or I'm at home off of work, the only thing I can think about is playing this game. It's literally one of the biggest surprises of the year for me personally. I haven't played any game like it. Um, and though I say that, I do reminisce back to Sunset Overdrive, which I never finished playing and I was maybe 14, 15 at the time. So me playing Sunset Overdrive kind of, you know, is a lost memory. But this right here definitely brings it back into light. So getting back into it, uh, what I'm going to talk about is just my first impressions because I have yet to beat the game. Um, but I am taking my time uh, playing the game, getting through the story and things like that. But I'm going to talk about the story, what's going on, uh, kind of like a first impressions, but also a review because this game is free if you have Xbox Game Pass. Uh, if you do not, it's going to be about $30 on, I believe it's on Steam. And uh, $30, I guess, if you don't have Xbox Game Pass, you just have to buy it on Xbox. It is not on PlayStation, sadly. Um, I wish it was because this is definitely a game I feel like everybody should uh, enjoy. It's made by uh, Tang Tangia Studios, I believe, which is the same people behind uh, The Evil Within. They just came out with Ghostwire Tokyo, which didn't really get a lot of hype. And I think it had mixed reviews, in all honesty. But in my opinion, I really liked it. It was a first-person shooter ghosts you know had a bunch of lore with tokyo japan type things and i actually enjoyed the game i finished the whole game went back actually started replaying it i liked it it was one of my favorite games from last year and this game right here is not up the alley of them they they've made you know kind of first person third person horror games this is off the rails something completely different than what they're known for but it's actually very good bethesda put it out so this is kind of like a cartoony um, does it take itself too seriously uh, rhythm based type action game where everything moves synchronized to a beat or a tempo and you as the main character his name is Chai kind of gets a, uh, a music player stuck in his chest and uh, it's supposed to be he becomes a defect labeled as a defect and they're trying basically to kill him. And uh, that sounds a little bit, you know, harsh, but it's a little bit more lighthearted than what it is. But going through the game, the dialogue is all good. The music, the soundtrack, which is a really big thing for the game, is honestly great. You have a streamer mode and non-streamer mode. It doesn't matter which one you play on. Both of them sound really good. The original soundtracks, I'm trying to tell you, are actually really good. So you could play either way with the copyright music or not and you're gonna enjoy the music it's not trash music that you're like what am i listening to no everything looks good the game looks good like i said it's real cartoony so you can't be thinking and you're coming into a realistic type game it's real cartoony um kind of anime stylish but the the way the game plays out when it introduces it, it doesn't just bombard you with all the mechanics of gameplay and the tempo and it is kind of hard to get used to once you start playing if you're not you know i guess musically inclined but uh, they have a lot of help. It, it gives you a lot of help. You can look at the environment, which moves with the beat. Uh, Chai himself moves with the beat. Um, everybody, everything moves with the beat, so it kind of keeps you on tempo. But uh, one of the big things about it is that when you're attacking, attacking on beat is a big thing um, to deal more damage to enemies. And so, like I said, it's kind of like a it's real, real gimmicky um it's kind of a funny game i mean they have little cliche things but in my opinion i'm really i really dig it i like it a lot uh the game like i said is 30 dollars, so it's really not expensive i think it's about 12 hours long i haven't yet to beat it and i'm trying to keep this game spoiler i'm trying to keep this i guess for first impression slash review spoiler free um but another big thing i thought was really cool about it is that this game had no hype none whatsoever nobody even knew this game was coming out until the day it came out they released i believe it was january 25th they released a uh gameplay trailer of it and an announcement of the game and then a couple hours later they dropped the game and the game is really good it is i'm i, I mean i can't explain enough how good the game is it's just honestly in my opinion is one of the one of the top I, and you can't call it an indie game because it's really not indie these are pretty big you know, this is a pretty big company that made the game, 
but uh it feels like an indie style game but it's really good um everything going down to the game the gameplay the soundtrack uh the look of it all of it is top notch and i feel like this leads to a bigger thing of when a company allows developers to kind of make what they want to make and not what's going to sell you know i feel like recently a lot of the uh a lot of the companies have been just trying to go for what they think is going to sell the most or what's going to be the best or what's going to, you know, get bring in the most hype. But something like this, I feel like if you go on Steam page right now, um, I think it's it's overwhelmingly positive, the reviews of it. And actually, I'm going to pull it up right now and show you guys. As you can see right here, overwhelmingly positive. It has over about 8,000 um, reviews, came out to January 25th, and um, it... it everybody who's played it really likes it the game like i said the gameplay is really good everything about it is is top notch um and i just can't sing enough praise for it and i wish more developers would let game let game do, i mean i wish more big name studios like bethesda and microsoft and all of them i wish they would let the developers do more of the things they want to do instead of the things that they think is going to do best because it's something like this that doesn't it didn't have much hype it, it really doesn't even have like i guess a genre like not a lot of people are looking for you know uh rhythm based action games but it's good and i'm not even into games like this but i tried it i just it, it was free on xbox game pass i got game pass i was like you know what let me just go ahead and give it a try and i and i can't put it down it's literally really good like i said all the characters are nice to like everybody's everybody every just everything's done completely done there is no bugs when i when i clicked on which i i didn't play it on first release so i mean i don't know but i don't believe there was a day one patch or anything this game came out it released and it was it was finished there was really no problems there's no i haven't had any glitches i haven't had any you know anything that looks weird I haven't had any cra uh, any bugs happen everything is is good and this is i feel, I feel like this right here should be kind of like the standard for today's gaming instead of the free to play um i'm gonna bombard you with battle passes and everything like that i know i'm kind of going on a rant but i'm just wanting to speak praise to this game and to these guys because i feel like this game definitely deserves it and i, I mean besides hogwarts legacy which at the time of me making this video has it came out yet but people have their hands on it and talking about how really good it is i feel like this right here you can't like i said you can't put it as an indie game but it definitely should be in a talk for like game of the year and that's you know a lot of people are gonna be like no you're over exaggerating and i'm being honest i'm not this is actually a really good game that i think is uh definitely worthy of it um and like i said with the surprise and everything like that of how they did everything i believe it should be in the conversation for game of the year but yeah this was just me going on a rant about what i how i thought this game was um hopefully you get to do with this information what you will um but definitely give it a shot give it a try if you can play it for free most definitely play it for free um if you have to pay i think it's worth your 30 dollars in my opinion um i think it's worth it but uh without further ado man that's gonna be the end of the video i'm done thank you guys for watching it and i'll see you guys in the next one god bless